new information and also we got our first look at player customization and also DICE have significantly changed their marketing strategy which is something I really want to talk about. So we got our first look today at the player customization and I have to admit it doesn't look bad at all. In fact it looks good. Now is this because DICE have gone damn we need to go change this customization options to make them look more realistic. That is definitely a possibility. DICE recently came out saying that they were toning down the player customization to make it less arcadey and unbelievable, taking out things like the bionic arms, which for me had no place. One thing I did notice from the pictures revealed was that DICE seemed to be placing less emphasis on female combatants and wacky customization. From what they showed today, I liked the look of it. Of course, they have not got rid of women. There was still a few, and that makes sense because there were female soldiers but just not everywhere, and weird steampunk outfits seem to have gone, which is good news. But this is obviously just from the screenshots we don't know about the final release of the game. I think we can speculate about some of the player customization options that we could expect at launch. You can obviously change ethnicity and the sexual orientation. That stuff is up to you, though. You will be able to change stuff like helmets, maybe whether it's clipped or unclipped like this photo here shows. The German soldier in this screenshot has dirt on his face, so face paints are definitely going to be a part of the player customization. I really expect to see stuff like shirts to be changed and coats and maybe trousers as well. Here we see a medic and she looks very cool. And this is more than just a visual customization option because you can see instantly that they are a medic. We can see a British soldier here and again they look a lot more authentic. They might not be as realistic as say postscriptum, but at least it represents the war that we know. But again, if we compare this to the reveal trailer, the difference is massive. It's less in your face. The screenshots I've seen here, it just looks a lot better. But again, what do you think? Is DICE backtracking? Let me know in the comments down below. We see the recon class, it shows a gas mask and it looks very cool and also goggles and then another soldier with a satchel with some writing that I can't really make out. But this was the customization that we wanted, subtle but unique. They also revealed some new details on some of the traits and they do sound very awesome. I'm not going to give you all the details on the traits and in-depth look at it because I know that Jack Frags and Westy and people like that have already done videos on it. But some of the best ones that I've seen, for example, are Focus Fire, for example. You can automatically spot enemies when you fully suppress them. And Emergency Retreat. You can speed up faster when you are on critical health. Also, DICE revealed that they would be supporting the game with two years worth of content with the Tides of War system, which is the live service program. That's very exciting for me that there is going to be content for the game constantly, meaning that there is going to be something that you can go out and try in the game. However, I do feel as if DICE have gone into damage control mode and are trying to appease people by revealing all this new information. They've also revealed a roadmap for when we will hear more details about the game and the outrage must have forced them to make these new changes to the marketing strategy. For example, we have seen the DICE dev talks, now the roadmap, and plus they seem to be backtracking a little bit. That's at least how it feels to me. Maybe I'm wrong though. Let me know your thoughts on this as well. But that's all I have for you today. I've got a new job in marketing that I did start on Monday and I'm really enjoying it. It's going to mean that I'll have a lot more money. So I'm looking to buy a Blue Yeti microphone. So I'm going to sound a lot better in the upcoming videos. So I can't wait to get that. If you're new and enjoy high quality Battlefield 5 videos and other indie titles and just gaming in general, then subscribe. I cover news, I do discussion videos and reviews, so stick around and until next time, have a good one.